okay so let us start so now <coughs> we were discussing uh, that how can we solve a network okay so there are different techniques okay we already discussed ohm's law now the next technique is or next law is which will be useful for analyzing any network is kirchhoff current law kirchhoff's current law okay in short we say this is a kcl now kirchhoff current law says that the algebraic sum of currents the algebraic sum of currents at any node at any node is zero okay what does mean say board is visible now or some settlement i would do just give me one minute okay so the algebraic sum of currents at any node is zero so suppose i have a node p and three currents are coming and two are going say this is my i1 i2 i3 this is my i4 and this is my i5 okay so this is a node p now this is the algebraic sum of currents at any node is zero okay so this law says that because there is a no accumulation of charge here okay this law is basically based on charge conservation because their current charge is moving but no no charge is getting accumulated accumulated at this point that means the incoming charge should be equal to outgoing charge okay so this gives me uh, this loss charge of conservation gives me that the algebraic sum of current at any node should be zero now while applying this law you have to certain things sign convention you have to keep in mind that when i say algebraic sum of the currents that means i have to put like a it's a, like as a vector sum so some current will be negative some current will be positive now it is your choice that whether you want to take incoming current positive or outgoing current positive okay if you're taking incoming current positive then you will take outgoing current as a negative if you're taking outgoing current as a positive then you will take incoming current as a negative generally i take outgoing current as a positive incoming current as a negative okay that is your choice so now because current is coming means electron is moving so i take generally incoming current as a negative okay so here current is moving away that means electrons are uh, coming towards a node so that is a positive so generally i use this one you can use anything okay so now if i apply this law i can say i will take a incoming current so incoming currents are i1 i2 i3 that i will take negative so let me take it as that thing as a negative so i can write minus i1 minus i2 and minus i3 i4 will be positive i5 will be positive uh, and that sum should be zero okay so so this is, so if you write right here i can write i1 plus i2 plus i3 that will be i4 plus i5 okay and this law also you can write as a summation of i i at any node is zero and i is what i is dq by dt okay that is basically q by q q by t is q i by t is zero so any time if any node q i charges are coming okay so this this gives me summation of q i is equals to zero that is charge is conserved charge conservation says that no charge is accumulated here that means incoming charge should be equal to outgoing charge or algebraic sum of charges coming to the and coming to the node resultant charge coming to the node is zero okay so that is that's that's law 
Okay, so I'm repeating again that you have to apply by applying this law, you need to take care of the direction. Okay, you, you have to take some currents uh, positive, some current negative. So basically, finally, if you don't understand this one, you can only apply incoming current equals to outgoing current. So incoming currents is equal to outgoing currents. Okay, so this loss help us to solve a circuit let us understand this with an example so i'm erasing this one can i erase okay sir uh, we can take any or uh, like incoming we can take a uh, positive also no sir Yes, you can take incoming also positive and outgoing and uh, uh, this also you can take as outgoing current. That is your choice. Okay. I generally take outgoing current positive. The reason I told you, okay, because current is moving. That means electron is going. So basically charge is moving this side. So I take that in positive. I said that to negative. You can choose anything. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. So let us see now have we learned many techniques okay that will help us to solve in the circuit for example just i want to demonstrate the this law okay for example i have a say a plus minus 12 volt battery okay and say i have here a six ohm register here this battery is giving me some current i Okay, here I have one more current source, say this is 5 ampere current source. And now here also I have a 5 ohm resistance. And parallel to this is I have a, a 20 volt battery. Okay, now tell me how many nodes are there in the circuit? How many nodes are there in the circuit? Subhash, Subhashish, how many nodes are there in the circuit? Am I audible? So three. Ah. three. So, this, so this is the one node. Okay. This is the second node. And this is your three, there are three nodes in the circuit and KCL is applied always at the node. Okay. Now, if I say, say this current is I, I say this current is I1. Let me put a resistance here also say the resistance is 8 ohm. So this is the I, this is the I1. This current is, is given fixed. I'm not giving a name. Let us say this current is I2. Okay. Some current will be going here. I don't know whether current coming here or current will come go there or there. I don't know. That will automatically come. So I'm choosing, I'm imagining the current is going there, I3. Okay. And some current will also, this I3 will come here. This I2 will come here. I4 will come here. Okay. Now this question says, find, find all the currents. Okay. You have to find all the currents. Find I, find I, I1, I2, I3, and I4. Okay. So these things we have to find out. Tell me what is how to find I1. What is the value of I1? Can anyone tell me? What is the value of I1 in the circuit? What is the voltage across 6 ohm? Tell me. So it is 2 ampere. Two. Very good. 2. So, so I can say, I can write the equations. So this is my node. This full is node. Okay. This is a node. So node I current is coming. I one is going and this five ampere is going. So I can say my I, this I is equal to, because incoming current is equal to outgoing current. This is outgoing, outgoing. This income I is equal to I one plus five. Okay. Now I1 I can directly calculate because I1 is parallel of this 12 volt. So I can say my I1 is 12 volt divided by 6 ohm that is 2 amp. Okay. 
if i put the value of 2 amp here i can i can immediately find my i is what 2 plus 5 that is 7 ampere okay so this node is done now apply so say you can name also say this is a b okay so this is at node a at node a now let us go to the node b here this is the one node the second node this is the third node and this is the fourth node there are four node and n is four here and is not three because resistance is there na? so this is this are this is common this is a common so you have a number of nodes are four branches how many one two three meshes is how many three meshes if i say meshes is three then branches will be how much branches will be 4 plus 3 minus 1, that is 7 minus 1, that should be 6. Yes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Branches are 6, components are 6. So that way you should not do mistake. I told you earlier. Okay. Identify nodes correctly. So say this is C node, say this is D node. So node A is done. Okay. At node B. So I am just using KCL, nothing else. Ohm's law and KCL. Okay, whatever things we learn that only we this problem can be solved in multiple ways. Okay, as we will keep on moving ahead in the syllabus, you will be having multiple techniques, then you can use anything and you can solve anything. So far, I didn't teach you any, anything else. So I'm only using this one. Okay, so at node B, node B, current is coming 5 ampere current, I2 is going outside, I3 is going outside. So I can say my I2 plus I3 at node B. Okay, incoming current, outgoing current, I2 plus I3 is 5. Now, I don't know whether I3 is moving away or it's because there's a heavy source here. Current may come here. That we'll see later in the final answer, whether the current is coming negative or positive. If it's coming positive, then our assumption is correct. Otherwise, you have to reverse the direction. Tell me what is the value of I2? Can anyone tell me what is the value of I2 here? Sir, where is I2? I2 is in 5 ohm. What is the value of I2? 4. 4. Very good. Because this is the parallel to the battery. So the voltage drop is here also 20 volt. Voltage is always same in parallel circuits. Voltage is always same in parallel circuits. Like we have done here. Here current is 3. Current was how much? 2, two ampere. Similarly, the current I2. 4 I2. ampere. I2 will be 20 by 5, that is 4 ampere. Once I know I2, I can find my I3. I3 will be 5 minus I2, that is 5 minus 4, that is equal to 1 ampere. Sir, okay. uh, I didn't get how I2 is equal to 20 by 5. Uh... You, you, you check it, I2 is parallel to? Ah, okay, 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 sir, got it. This is parallel circuit, huh? there's no resistance is there. Here yeah, no resistance is there, so that is directly connected to the across, across the source. So here voltage drop is 20. Here voltage drop is 20. Like similarly here voltage drop was 12. 20 volts. Got it sir, thank you. Yeah. Now come to the uh, node C. Node C, how many currents are coming? Tell me. How many currents are involved at node C? This I2 is coming. And I2. And this I for moving I3. Is this, this I3 is coming from here. Same branch current will be moving same. Okay. One branch current can be only one. Say same current. Okay. There can not be different currents in one branch. So at node C, I can write incoming current, outgoing current, incoming current. So I can write I incoming current is I2 plus I3 is equal to I4. Okay, so I2 already I know 4 ampere, I3 I already know 1 ampere, this total become 5 ampere. Okay, so my I4 become 2 plus 3, 5 ampere. Now come to the node D at node D, how many currents are involved? I4 is coming, I1 is coming, and this current, this is the same current I is moving because source will give the amount of current will uh, will come from uh, will will start 
that should come back. Okay, so I is coming, I is going back. So here I can write what? Again, I can write same thing. I I already we know. So I is equal to I1 plus I4. I1 is your 2M and I4 is your how much? 5 amp. This again coming 7 amperes. Okay. So 7 amperes starting and 7 amperes coming. We already know I is 7 ampere. So that is so this way you can apply charge conservation or KCL to solve the problems. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Ah, tell me. Sir, uh, sir, ye 12 volt or 20 volt wala, sir, ye bhi to parallel mein hai, sir. To fir... Haan, ye, ye iske parallel mein hai? I2, sir, I2 wala was mein nahi aaya, sir. Ye. Ah, ye I2 na? ये इसके पैरेलल में हां सर तो पांच ओम में कितना करंट होगा सर ये ओम्स लगाना है ओम्स लगाना है अभी अच्छा तो सर ये 12 वोल्ट वाला भी तो पैरेलल में है सर किस किस हां हां तो ये तो नहीं तो इसका भी निकालना हमने ना 12 वोल्ट यहां पर है तो ये कितना निकल कितना करंट निकला था 6 12 डिवाइड बाय 6 2 एंपियर तो निकला था हां सर तो ये I2 वाला जो है सर I2 के केस में सर ये 12 वोल्ट सर इसमें इंक्लूड नहीं होगा सर ये 20 सर ये पैरेलल में तो सही इसमें तो 20 वोल्ट सर अपने ये 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 इसके पैरेलल थोड़ी ना है यहां पे तो रजिस्टर सोर्स पे लगा हुआ है अच्छा 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 ठीक ओके यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेनी स्टूडेंट ऑलवेज डू प्रॉब्लम पैरेलल मींस ओनली दिस वन नो रेजिस्टेंस इन बिटवीन ओनली पैरेलल मींस डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर दैट इज पैरेलल नथिंग एल्स इज पैरेलल ओके ओके सर ओके सर सो डोंट डू मिस दीस मिस्टेक्स Parallel means directly connected to terminal to terminal. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, is, sir, is if, there uh, in case then, if uh, hmm. let's say if there is a resistor connected uh, in series, no, sir, then also we can use the same formula, right? We, 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 he, he, suppose here resistance connected, connected, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you cannot do. Then, then you cannot say the uh, voltage is here uh, same. No, that's so. Then we will find the resistance in series. Then we will find it in parallel uh, that with that. You, that you have to see that if the resistance is there, then twenty volt will be across this one. Okay, across okay. hole. So that we have to see. Still, we have not discussed the KVL. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, Sorry. So, Kirchhoff voltage law we will discuss later. Okay, and then we will solve. Okay. Sir, so only, uh, uh, tell me. Sir, if the resistance eight ohm is not present there, huh. if the resistance eight then, ohm is not then then also they are not parallel because the here 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 also some voltage should be there drop should be there na. If this is the current source. Here also some voltage should be there. Here current current source also has some resistor resistance. Okay. okay? okay. So here okay, should okay. be also some voltage because without voltage drop you cannot flow the current. Okay. Whether you draw voltage source or current source. You have to apply voltage, okay? This current source will convert voltage into current. That's it, okay? So here also some voltage to draw because because parallel means this point and this point should be same, but here this point and this point is not same. Some voltage drop is there, okay? Like here this point and this point is same, so they are parallel. No voltage drop, okay? So that I have to understand. So here this voltage, this is short. Okay, so here they are not short. So I can do some easy problems also, but uh, okay. Finally, you have to do some good problems only. So let us continue. Okay. So I'll do some couple of more problems for KCL so that you have an understanding of KCL. So this is plus minus 10 volt. So this is R1, R2. R3 and say this is a 5 amp source, current source. Okay. And now I say the 3 amp current is coming here. 3 amp current is coming here. Okay. And 2 amp current is going here. I want to find I current in R3. Tell me how to find. Tell me how many nodes are there in the circuit. How many nodes are there in the circuit? 
circle circle the nodes so this is the one node three, three nodes and this is this is this is single node okay i will put a name say a the three nodes three nodes very good okay this is a node a oh, i loaded at p okay this p and this is one more node here okay so here this current is coming from directly here so 3 ampere current current is coming 3 ampere current is moving yeah nothing to solve okay nothing we are not interested or nothing is there to be worried here now i want to apply at kcl at node p apply kcl apply kcl at node p okay how many currents are coming and how many currents are moving going away towards the towards the node p so you write incoming which current. one is the node p this is node p this 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 is single node this is okay. a single node incoming currents three. equal to how many nodes are there actually three right three outgoing currents three is equals to two plus i so here three is incoming and three and what is incoming current three and and i i is incoming or outgoing so that is outgoing two I and i is outgoing two outgoing so two and i are outgoing incoming that is three only three only and what about this five ampere five m current three plus five three plus five because this current this this source will give you five, five if it is written five ampere in this in the branch where it is present current will flow 5 amp so here 5 amp current current flow that 5 will go 5 amp will go towards the node so incoming current is 3 plus 5 so i will become how much 8 minus 2 6 amperes 6 amperes sir can you do it uh, say it again i am not understanding uh so the, the, the first you understand the definition okay what is kcl Conservation of current, okay. Yes, incoming current, outgoing current. Uh, so incoming currents are telling me it this node, it this okay. node. How many? This three ampere current is coming to, towards this node. This okay. three, so, three, uh, so and three ampere current and five ampere current two are opposite directions. So it should be minus. Ah, that's why, yes. sir. So three final, is coming inside, two is ah, going outside. That's so, not my confusion. So this three plus five will go somewhere, na? This, oh. this three and this, 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 some, some five charge, some ten, uh, 10 charges and they will not cancel out charges. They are not in the same branch. Na? So they, towards the, towards the node, how many charges is coming? Three, say, suppose it's three electron, five electrons coming. Now this eight electron, <coughs> now this is a node. This is a node. It two coming and three coming. They are not going ac across each other. They are going somewhere one towards the node na? and three, three and five coming. Five and three, then then this they this case says there should not be any accumulation of charge. Okay, how, how much is coming? That much should go away. So so going is I and going is two two m two m. Okay, so this is this is the eight. This is two. So I will be six six m. That is simple. So just the, that's why I'm saying see the node. Don't think anything else. How much current is coming to the node? How much is outgoing? Because this is a this is a single node. Okay, you assume this is a single node only. This all is coming current is coming here. Current is coming here towards a single node. Okay, and from a single node, single node, this current is getting distributed away. Because it's a one point, but just just for symmetric, uh, symmetric direction. Just uh, the design should uh, this, uh, this this circuit should look symmetric. That's why I'm putting lines here. Otherwise, I told you this is single point. Okay. So this is connected here, this is connected here. So this current is coming here, this current is coming here. And from uh, from there onwards, this point only current is moving out. Okay. So incoming current equals to outgoing current. So first you start observing the circuit properly. Okay. Once you observe the circuit properly, then only you can so then you can only apply the laws. Okay. Applying is different. First understanding how to apply the law. Now let me give you one more example of KCL.
three resistance is RA. There is a one more resistance, six ohm, five ohm, and say a voltage source is VX here. And now assume that this source VX is giving current here. Current here is 13 amp, okay? So because of this source, it is given, okay? And here current is 8 ampere, assuming, okay? Current is 8 ampere is coming in the given in the question. Now you have to find the current in 6 ohm. This is 5 ohm. Uh, current in 6 ohm, say Ix, and the value of and current in here Ia and the value of resistance Ra. Okay. So the question says find Ia, Ra and ix okay now just keep focus on the circuit and tell me how can direct which thing you can immediately can calculate without just by observing so first of all we can calculate the value of uh, ra how tell me the first so by RA? using simply the ohm's law ha huh, tell me what is how to, what is ra so it will be v by i B by I, very good. It's 18 upon 8. It, it, 8. 8 is coming, not coming here. 8 is coming here in this branch. Here it will sir, distribute. That, uh, the 13 ampere is already given, sir, in the in the diagram? Yes, 13 is already given. Okay. 13 given, 8 given. So I can write 18 by IA. Correct? Because this, this is the, they are parallel, na? Sir, so yes, IA sir. R R I A, but do you but you don't know I A, okay? Can you tell me whether six ohm is parallel to 18, 18 volt or no? Uh, yes or no? Tell me, six ohm is parallel or not? Yes, yes, parallel. So it is parallel to eighteen volt. Yes, very good. This is also parallel to eighteen volts. This is also parallel because there is no resistance here. This is directly yes, connected sir. here. So I can at least sir, find I X I X first. Sir, I X equals to two ampere. Yes, I is 3 ampere. Uh, I is will be three, very, three yes, ampere. yes, 3 amp. Okay. Now, one now this thing you know, this thing you know, this thing you know, one thing you can calculate. Okay, because how many nodes are there in the circuit? Tell me nodes. So four nodes are there. So this is a, four nodes. Which one? Which one? Four. This is this is single node? No, three. Three, nodes. Three, so three, nodes. Three, three nodes. Three nodes there. So this, so how many currents are coming into the node on how many are outgoing? Okay. So in again, incoming current equals to outgoing current, incoming current equal to outgoing currents. Tell me what is the incoming currents towards the node? Eight plus 13. Eight plus 13. That is and equals to. Ia plus Ix. 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 You already know, so you can find Ia. That is twenty one minus three. That is eighteen amp. Okay. Now tell me what is the value of Ra? Ra is one ohm. Hmm. One ohm. One ohm. Eighteen by eighteen. That is one ohm. So the formula for Ra is what? Eighteen by Ia. So 18 upon R IA is 18, 18 by 18, that is one ohm. Okay. So this was the some demonstration of your KCL. Okay. So the whatever problems we will solve here in KCL, okay, uh, so second analysis. That will be the level will be a little bit high, okay? Because in general, when I, when I go to diode, transistor, and the op amp, we uh, generally get will get a circuit simpler circuits, okay? But in the exam, sometimes directly questions come from circuit analysis. Their questions may be a little bit tough, okay? So that's what I am putting the level a little bit high, okay? But later in the syllabus, as you move once once you have a command, then the things will be very easy. So initially, four five days you have to learn. Circuit analysis, okay, and then once you are thorough with all the techniques, and then 
you for things will become very easy for you. So now the next is your Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay. This law says the algebraic sum of voltages around some sum of voltages around any loop any loop is equal to zero, zero. okay so say i have a loop single loop okay so i have a say a voltage say say battery or say voltage say let's say voltage source is v1 then i have some resistance r1 some resistance r2 i have one more battery say v3 and then i have some element okay like current source anything or something where some voltage some 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 element is there diode is there something is there where some voltage drop is there okay so say here here across this one the voltage drop is say b4 okay now now here voltage drops v1 here voltage drop say v, here voltage drop is v2 okay if if the sign is not given in the question okay if sign is not given the question then you choose the sign according to the direction of the current so if i say the current i is moving here okay then i will say this is the higher potential this is the lower potential so i can put plus minus plus minus this is already given and here also here also this is plus minus you can write like this okay now if you uh, now if you say no uh, i want to measure like this like this like this also you can measure just give me one minute so say so let let us first discuss simple simpler case okay simpler case means i am saying this is a plus minus this is a drop so currently moving this is a higher potential some drop will be there this potential will reduce again for so now this point will some potential is there this will be reduced here then you get some potential here and if we, and this is here and now i say the current is moving in the clockwise direction okay now i have i want to apply the kitch of voltage law for this loop okay so before you apply Kirchhoff law, you have to understand the sign convention and you have to understand the type of voltages. Okay. So generally in the circuit, either there is a voltage rise or there is a voltage drop. What do you mean? What do you mean? Say if I am moving from negative battery to positive, positive, say this is my battery E and I am moving in this direction. My current is moving in this direction. I am moving with that with the direction of current. Okay, current, of course, you have to assume. So if I assume my current is moving clockwise, suppose I'm moving from negative to, to negative to positive, this is called voltage rise. This is called voltage rise because I'm moving from lower potential to higher potential. So this is a voltage rise. Similarly, if I my current is moving like this and I'm moving with the current. Okay, this is a higher potential this is a lower potential. So this is called voltage drop. This is a voltage drop. Okay. Similarly, if a register is there, say this register is there and I am moving with the direction of this one. Okay. So this will be your higher potential and this will be lower potential. So this is called voltage drop. This is voltage drop. I can move, I can do opposite thing. If generally say current is current is coming like this and my, or you say current is coming like this only. Okay. And I say, this is minus, this is the plus. Actually, this is a higher potential. This is a lower potential, but I am missing because the already question and the, the voltage drop, they're asking what is the voltage? Suppose this is a V1 and this is the V2. Now V2 is 
opposite to V1, V2 is equal to minus V1. But already some polarity, polarities are uh, have been given like this. So they say, don't measure like this, measure like opposite to this one. Then now, now this is this will be a voltage rise because I'm going negative to positive. Of course, this voltage rise will uh, finally it will come out the negative and then it will become a voltage drop. But just for keeping the sign convention in the mind, how to you should not do any mistake while 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 you're so because this is the this is the opposite of Ohm's law. Is opposite of Ohm's law. Here I am moving I, so here V V will be equal to I R. But if I put plus here, 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 my V2 will be minus I R. That difference you should understand. But now how to apply the KVL in the loop? Okay, so understand this one clearly. There are some in the circuit, there will be some will be voltage rises and some there will be voltage drops. Okay. Again, you have a choice whether you want to take voltage drop as a positive or voltage rise as a positive. Because when I say algebra, algebraic sum of voltage is zero, that means voltage voltages drop, voltages drop, drop should be equal to voltages rise, voltages rise. Okay. Now generally, I take a voltage rise as a negative and voltage drop as a positive. You can you can take other way. Why I take like this? Because if I take voltage rise as a negative, so I don't have to change the sign. If negative coming, I will put the negative in the equation. If positive coming, I will add the positive equation because drop will be start from positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. So I always choose the uh, the sign which is given here in the in the in the question in the circuit. So I don't have to think much. So I will take voltage rise as a negative and voltage drop as a positive. Now let me write the equation for KCL, KVL, apply KVL here. So I will say my V1 is negative minus V1. Okay. And then this is the V2, this is the V3. I will write plus V2, whatever sign, I don't have to think anything. Once, once a sign a signs are placed, I just have to follow this one, minus V1 plus V2 plus V3 and then this is a mi uh, minus V4 minus V4 this should be five this should be five now no? five elements are there one two three four five elements are there and now this plus is coming so I can write plus V5 equals to zero that means I can write V1 plus V1 plus V1 plus V4 is equal to V2 plus V3 plus V5. Now V1 and V4 are tell me there are voltage rise or voltage voltage drops. V1 is what? Sir. V, huh, voltage rise. One minute. V1 is voltage rise. V4 is voltage rise. And other V2, V3, and V5 are voltage drops. So voltage drops are voltage drops are v2 v3 v5 so voltage rises voltage rise is equal to voltage drops that you have to understand like current you have to apply like this huh? tell me now excuse me sir sir i have huh, a confusion me. in the sign convention huh. of v1 huh, so v1. how the v1 is negative v1 i am i am starting from i am my, my i am assuming my current is moving like this current is going here so in the current direction, this is the voltage rise. This is higher potential, this is lower potential, yes or no? So we have started from the negative terminal of the battery. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So okay. that's why it is taken as the negative one. The negative, okay. We have to see first starting point, na? drop is this one. So I am, I am current is coming, I am starting from here. So I let, this is a voltage, I am taking voltage rise as a negative. So this is the voltage rise, so I will take negative. Then okay, this is the voltage getting. drop. Positive, getting, then positive, getting, then negative, sir. and positive. So, by if you are, if you follow this convention, you will not do any mistake because you will you will just see the sign and you put it here. Minus is there, you put minus here. Plus is there, you put plus here. V three put here. Minus V four plus V five equals to zero. So voltage drops equal to voltage rises. Of course, this should be there, na? Some means some something is giving you voltage and something is consuming. Okay, that means. These 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 are two sources, okay, and they are in same direction. V one plus V four, they are in same direction. They are they are giving current in same direction. 
This is also giving guarantee. Like this is also giving guarantee. Yeah. So these are two sources. These are energy sources, and remaining are consuming the voltages which is giving here. And the voltage should be uh, series should be sum. So this is the so V1 plus V4 should be equal to V2 plus V3 plus V5. That is exactly coming like this. So, sir, my my thing is like uh, V1 and V4. You are taking it as voltage rise because it's going from minus to plus. Yes, minus to plus. Whenever okay. you go minus to plus, it is a rise. When a plus to minus, this is a voltage drop. Okay. Means low potential to high potential. Yes, low potential to higher potential. Okay, that's what sir, I write here, na? What have you written in the top right corner, sir? Here. Like, yeah, yes. V one is equal to voltage rise. V four is equal to voltage. Okay, okay, you just voltage. define it. Okay, okay. Ah, voltage rise. Okay, okay. Because I have the V four. It is quite all blurry. Things. Okay, sir. Right. Hmm. Okay. Because I'm, uh, I'm communicating, communicating also, na, so that you should uh, listen that one also because. Yeah, yeah, okay. understood. <laughs> okay. So let us understand this method, this KVL with some examples. So let us solve some problems and see how can we apply this method. Okay, we were done. Pro yes, one problem yesterday. What was the problem? Yes. <laughs> yesterday I draw some circuit. Okay, that let us do the same circuit with this law. So it will be easy for you. Say. Plus, here is a 10 volt. Okay, some resistance is there. Two resistance are there. Say, two resistance are there. This was 10 ohm, 10 ohm, and this was 5 ohm. Okay, so I'm taking the same problem. Now, I want to find what is I. Okay i1 and what is i2 okay and using i'm just have to apply kvl okay you can do use this in kcl also but let me do uh, do it this is using first uh, kvl this one okay so so i'll choose this loop okay say apply kvl in in the loop in the loop okay so how what i can write here i am choosing that this the direction of current okay say i current is moving here because i'm choosing i1 here so let us first find what is i okay let us first find uh here is voltage say this is here so say this is the v1 and say this is v2 okay now i can say minus 10 plus, plus, v, plus v1 v1 plus v2 equals to zero and yes. V1 is what? V1 is your? 5i. 5i. Uh, okay. And V2 is? 10i1. 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 Okay. Now let us first find what is i in the circuit. Yesterday we already find because 10, 10 will give you what? 5 and 5, 5 will give you 10. So i is your 1 ampere. If I take the 10 is parallel to 10, this will give you 5 ohm. And then this 5 and this combination 5 are parallel 5 plus 5. This will give you 10, 10, ohm. 10 ohm. So my I so my I will be what? My I will be 10 divided by 10. That is 1 ampere. Okay. So now I can say that here I know the value of current that is 1 ampere. Okay. So what is the value of V1? What is the value of V1? It's so V1 five, will five, five, five into one, five volt. Okay. Now it is become very easy. The, the sum of voltages in the loop should be zero. This is 10 volt, five is consumed here. So what is the value of V2 tell me? What is the value of V2? Because now I can apply this equation, minus 10 I know. V1 is how much? V1 is five, V2 is 0. unknown. 5. So V2 will be 10 minus 5 equal to 5. Sir, actually huh. that V2, after V2 is equal to 10, I1, I just lost connection. What you were trying to say in the right, what have you done in the right hand side, sir? So, so, so let us understand. 
first of all i have find the current this is a parallel that, resistance that, this left hand side i understood sir left ah, so hand side we will make it a right hand side so this is a one ampere current okay okay you understood this one now i i am writing the kvl here so this is a minus 10 this side i understood sir this side v1 is 25 5i v2 is equal to uh, this side right hand side from top 10 parallel to 10 i didn't understand that what ah, so this this is in 10 10 parallel yes sir 10? so this will give 5 ohm ah okay incoming is okay okay no, not incoming this is the this is a register equivalent register 10 plus 10 10 parallel 10 yeah yeah okay one yeah yeah correct correct, correct. five and this five and five how much series this equivalent the equivalent of this one this will be five and five and five will be series the total resist total resistance of the circuit okay, is okay. 10 okay okay okay, so current, okay to current flowing is 10 by 10 1 ampere okay 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 sir okay, sir. okay. now got now, it now you got you got it okay this is 10 yeah yeah this is also five okay, okay so, sir, this, so, so this register and this register are con this combination is parallel to this one so this 10 volt will be divided here and here i know this volt i know this voltage i know this voltage so i can find this v2 so v2 will be minus simply minus 10 minus v1 and v1 you already know v1 is already 5 volt we have, we have calculated 5 into 1 5 volts so so this v2 will come you are 5 volt okay now you know the v2 can you find the i1 now can you find i1 now say this is v3 Hey, this is V3. Tell me what is the value of I1? It's 0.2 ampere. It's 0 0.5 ampere. Oh, sorry, 0.5 ampere. So, so I so this is the 5 volt. So I1 will be what? I1 will be 5 volt 5 divided by 10. 10 ohm. That is 0 0.5 ampere. What is the value of V3? Tell me. What is the value of V3? Here. B3 is parallel to what? Sir, it is 5 volt. 5 volt. Because V3 is also parallel to V2. These are both parallel, na? Parallel, parallel voltage will be always same. If this voltage is 5 volt, this voltage will be also 5 volt. So B3 is also 5 volt. Okay. So my I2 will be what? 5 upon 10 again. That is 0 0.5 ohm. Okay. So I is 1 milliampere. Now if you apply if you apply KCL here. I is equal to I1 plus I2. I is your 1 ampere. We already solved in the beginning. 1 amp. This is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5. This is valid. This is a current conservation also. We can see. So very sorry, sir. I I uh, I1, uh, you're, you're getting for 5 by 10. I didn't get it, sir. So uh, uh, this voltage is how much across v sir. V2? How much is there? What is the value of V2? It's 10, sir. V2 value is 10. This is 10 no, ohm. Sir. Ah, sir, 10 ohm, sir. A uh, voltage, voltage. V2 is what? 5 volt. Five so let, him, let him reply. So if, if the V2 is 5, resistance is 10, then current is how much? Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Ohm's law. That's why I told, na. That's okay, why okay. I am te teaching, telling you to understand. So far, what we learn only Ohm's law, KCL and KVL. Don't keep anything else. Ohm's resistance, voltage, no resistor, no. You can find the current. So these things, simple things, you keep in mind. <coughs> so <coughs> let us solve some more problems. So <coughs> let us say now. <coughs> So I'm giving you a simpler problem, okay? Because you're not responding. So they find V1 and V2, okay? So say this is plus minus 20 volt, two ohm, say two ohm, three ohm, okay? Say this is V1. I'm defined, I'm missing like this. When I say I'm when I put plus minus, I am missing V1. And this is a V2. Okay. Tell me what is the value of V1, V2? Tell me the value of V1, V2. The source is 20 volt. 
सोर्स इज ट्वेंटी वोल्ट tell me how to find so if there is a there is a battery there are resistors of course there is a current okay so say a i current is flowing in the circuit okay now apply kvl in the loop apply kvl in the loop tell me what should i write Minus twenty. Minus twenty. Very good. Minus twenty plus V one plus V two. That is equal to zero. Very good. Okay. Now, what is the value of V one? Tell me. V one is equal to I two to R one. Huh? Current ah. remains the same because both of the ah. resistors are. So, so I am saying series. current is flowing I. So this will be two I. And V two will be three I. Three I. Okay. Put it value here in the in the equation. So minus twenty v one will be two two i plus three i equals to zero. So five i equals to twenty. So i is equal to twenty four amperes. So my v one will become how much? Eight volt. Eight into eight volt, and v two becomes twelve volt. Three volt. Twelve volt. Okay. So the algebraic sum of voltage should be zero. This is my source. Twenty volt will be divided between these two resistors. So eight volt is here, twelve volt is there. Eight plus twelve is twenty. That is a simple law. If you know out of three voltages, if you know two voltages, third voltage you can find using KVL. That is the meaning of KVL. If you know this one, this one you can find this one. If you know this one and this one you can find this one. If you know this one and this one you can find this one. Okay. Now suppose there is a four resistors. Three resistors. So out of four, if you know three things, you can re remaining you can calculate. That is the only meaning of your KVL. Okay. Okay, sir. Now I'm I'm just I'm changing this problem a little bit. Okay. Or let it be. Uh, say I'll put one more problem. Say say this is. Uh, I want to twelve. Okay, twelve. So say this is twenty four volt. I'm putting one more question. Say, this is a twenty-four volt. Okay, this is two. Say this is seven. And say this is resistor is three ohm. And this is connected here. Okay, say this is V one. Say this is. V two say this is V three. Find V one, V two, V three. Find. So first, KVL means you have to choose the direction. Which direction you want to move? Whether you want to move like this, you want to want to move like this. So I am assuming current is here. Later I may prove wrong. Current may come negative. But for the time being, I am saying my current is like this. Current is clockwise. Okay. So find current with direction. Find current. I, okay, and and remaining and V one, V two, V three, and V one, V two, V three values. Fine. Sir, I is equals to two. V one is equals to four. V two is equals to fourteen, and V three is equals to six. Six. Okay. Any other other students also doing? Okay. Yes, so first, sir. Yes, sir. So this is first minus twenty four plus V one V one plus V two plus V two plus V three plus V three. Just see, just zero. see, just see the sign and put it zero. Now minus twenty four V one is I into R two I seven I. I is the uh, voltage drop is I and V three is your Three i, three i equals to zero. So this is twelve i equal to twenty four i is equal to two ampere. two ampere. Okay, so V one will become two into two, that is four volt. 
V2 become 2 into 7, 14, 14 volt, and V3 become 2 into 3, that is 6 volt. And this combined together is 24 volt. This is the battery 24 volt, and the sum is 24. So voltage rise is equal to voltage drop. Okay. Voltage rise. This is the voltage rise. This is the voltage rise. Rise. And all remaining threes are drops. So voltage rise equal to voltage drop. Is that clear, Akansha? Amarpreet? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Karishma? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let me change this question a little bit. Okay. Now you understood this thing. Okay. Now, if I say there's this V2, I am measuring like this. So is it possible? Is it possible yes, to? Sir. Uh, of yeah, course just, it is possible. Yes, because we are just measuring. Okay. We are just a yes, uh, Okay. Actual, actual situation. If I see, if I say current is moving, this is the voltage drop. But I can put an, I, I can put a uh, opposite also. Okay. So I can say this is plus, this is minus, this is minus. This is already given. So I cannot change. Because uh, now V2 is defined in another way. V2 is from here to here, not here to here. So that will become negative uh, thing. So tell me now what is V1, V2, V3 again. Find V1, V2, and V3 and find the current in this in this same circuit. Not remember the direction of current. I I is coming here. I is going here. Okay. So I can write now minus 24 plus V1 minus V2 plus V3 equals to zero. Okay. Now what is V1? V1 is 2i. What is V2? Tell me. So minus 7i. Minus 7i. Very good. Because now Ohm's law, Ohm's law, sign convention. If this is my register and and current is coming here. If, if I say this is the plus, this is the minus V, then V equal to IR. Same register. Current is coming here. This should be higher potential. But if I say this is negative, then and this, this is my V. I'm defining the opposite. I'm, I'm measuring like this, or if I'm measuring like this, opposite. So here my V will be minus IR. Okay. And V3 is same, same direction. Higher to, I, higher to lower. I. So 3i. Put it value here again. Minus 24 plus 2i minus minus program. Again become same thing. 7i plus 3i. So again, i is your 2 ampere. Okay, this is 12i. 12i is 24. So i is 2 ampere. And now again, you can find what is v1, v2, v3. So V1 is 4, uh, 2 into 2, 4, 4 volt. Okay, I'm it is negative now, so there will be minus 7. Uh, so V2 will be minus 7 into 2 minus 14 volt. Correct? Yes, sir. And V3 will be how much? 3 into 2, 6 volt. Six this volt. This only we are expecting now. Because if I measure like this, it should be, it should be plus. If you measure, it should be, value should not change. But only answer should come negative. So answer is coming negative. Minus 14. That's the only difference. Okay. So let me when final question for KVL. Then we'll move for we'll move ahead. Okay. So one more question from the creature of voltage law. Say this is my register. This is minus plus. This is four ohm. This is minus plus 
टू ओम टेन वोल्ट फोर ओम सिक्स ओम एंड से सर्किट फाइंड द करंट वैल्यू इन द सर्किट ओके फाइंड द करंट वैल्यू इन द सर्किट वट इज द वैल्यू करंट आई सो हाउ शुड आई स्टार्ट आई एम सेइंग करंट इज देयर एंड साइन इज नॉट गिवन सो आई कैन चूज प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस ओके नाउ टेल मी आई स्टार्ट अ लूप आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आई आई कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एनी वेयर आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ हियर माइनस टेन प्लस फोर इंटू आई then plus 6 into here yeah, current is i 6 into i and then i start is coming plus here so plus 4 volt okay and then here again plus 2 i equals to 0 4 6 10 12 12 i is equal to 6 volt 10 4 six so i will be 6 upon 12 that is 0.5 ampere okay so i think now this loss kcl cable should be clear to you now we can move further excuse me sir ha ah, tell so, me so kindly please uh, clear about the 4 volt the sign ah. convention of 4 volt ha ah, tell me so uh, we are traversing from high potential to low potential na ha ah. so so i am i am taking voltage drop this is the voltage drop and voltage drop i am taking positive okay sir voltage rise that's why i choose na you don't see anything you just see the sign is a minus put minus it is a plus you put plus you put a plus you put plus plus you put plus plus you put plus nothing else okay sir getting sir getting okay so do you want a break 5 minute break or shall i continue sir 8 o'clock we have class sir so we can finish Ten minutes or five minutes early before eight ah, o'clock. Okay. Like that we can do. Yes, yes. Okay. Check. Okay. So I'll continue. Okay. Okay, sir. Hmm. So voltage division in series circuit. Okay. Now. Now we'll see series and parallel circuits. So voltage division in series circuit. Series. circuits actually we are already doing series series circuit okay voltage division in series circuit so say i have a voltage source a v and i can this connected to r1 r2 r3 and so on this is R and okay. Say this is V one. Here voltage drop is V two. Here voltage drop is V three, and here voltage drop is V n. Okay, three and two and one. Now this is the closed single loop, closed loop. Okay, I can always. apply kvl in the loop apply kirchhoff voltage law so kirchhoff law voltage law says voltage rise equal to voltage drop there is only one voltage rise which is v and that is equal to what v1 plus v2 plus v3 and so on vn 
okay now what is v1 value v1 value will be i if the current is i this will be i r1 plus i r2 plus i r3 and that will be equal to i rn okay now this is equal to i r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus rn okay now if i replace this circuit if i this r resistance i will replace by r equivalent okay r equivalent and this is my voltage source okay this is my voltage source or you could put it in series only otherwise you get confused this is a voltage source okay and this r equivalent and current a current is flowing i say i equivalent okay so i i can also write here or current is i only is because these are all series so i can also write my v will be now tell me what is v v equal to what in this in this loop i into r equivalent i into r equivalent i equal to r equivalent because these are series okay so now i i cancel so my r equivalent will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 this thing you already know nothing new the registers in the series will add okay now i am interested in voltage division i want to find what is the value of v1 v2 v3 okay so what is the value of v1 tell me what is the value of v1 v1 is basically your i into r1 uh, and i is equal to what i here v is equal to i r equivalent so i is equal to what v upon r equivalent so my v1 will be what v upon r equivalent total resistance voltage divided by total resistance voltage voltage divided by total resistance will give you the current and current multiplied by resistance will give you the voltage r1 similarly if i want v2 v2 will be what v2 will be my v upon current is same that will be simply multiplied by r3 and v3 is equal to v upon r equivalent into r3 if i put r and vn so vn will be r equivalent rn okay now let us understand this with this example these are simpler things you already know okay i am just repeating those things now let me give you one problem and then we'll do important topic parallel circuits okay so say this is a 2 ohm say this is a 3 ohm and say this is a 5 ohm and i am putting a source of plus minus 10 volt here this is a plus minus 10 volt here okay so can you tell me what is v1 what is voltage drop here v2 and what is voltage drop v3 here drop tell me what is the voltage drops v1 is 2 volt v1 is 2 volt hmm. so v2 is 3, is 3 volt, volt. V and so v3 is, is 5 volt so this is so this is very simple v3 is 5 volt okay because you can find the current okay and you can write the uh, of voltage low how minus 10 minus 10 plus 2i plus 3i plus 5i equals to 0 5i equals to 10 and i is equal to 10 upon 5 that is 2 so v1 is 4 sorry what is what mistake i'm doing this is 10 10 i this is a 10 i 10 i so i is 1 so i is 10 divided by 10 that is 1 ampere so 2 into 1 2 3 into 1 3 5 into 5 now tell me what is the potential this potential what is the potential here i say this is a va i say this is the vb i say this is a vc okay how many nodes are there in the circuit tell me how many nodes are there in the circuit 
How many nodes are there? So two. So this is the node. Two nodes are there. This is a node. This is a node. So three nodes in total. B three Q. Why? This is this is also a node. Because the definition node is what? Is a V A. If two points, if there's a component between two points, that is a node. So here also, here it here we have components. We have components. This is also node. So there are four nodes. One, two, three, four nodes. Okay. How? Now, if you say loop is how many nodes are four loop is how much mesh is how much one. So branches will be how much four plus one minus one five minus one four. four. So four components are there. Okay. So this all are nodes. Now this node, this node are not same. This, these are same. These are same node. These are same node. Okay, but this node and this node, there is a voltage difference between a node. Same node means same voltage, but this is not, not same, same. There's a voltage difference, so they are not the same, same uh, points. Okay, now tell me what is VA? What is the VA? What is the value of VA? Akansha? It is simple, na? Daniel. So it is 10 volt. 10 volt. Okay, see, it's because it is directly connected to 10 volt. So yes. VA is 10 volt. What is VB? So what is VB? 8 volt. 8 volt. 8, 10, 10 minus 2 volt. Remaining is 8 volt. 8 volt. So there's a 10 volt here coming here, directly here. Yes. You're getting drop 2 volts. Remaining is 8 volt here. So VB is 8 volt. What is VC? 5 volt. 5 volt. So eight minus three, that is five volt. We see what is VD. Tell me what is VD. Zero volt. Zero, zero volt. V, volt. V, it is zero volt. That is correct. So because this is connected to minus, that is zero. This is zero. This is connected to the plus. This is a ten. So ten volts. Two two consume here. Remaining eight here. Three consume. Uh, um, how much? Then three consume here. Five here. Then five consume here. Remaining zero here. So this is the VA, VB, VC, VD. Okay, so this is your voltage division in series circuit. Okay, now the important topic is voltage division in parallel circuit. So that I should not continue today. I'll just derive the formula and we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay, just give me five minutes. I will discuss the parallel circuits and we'll continue it tomorrow. So current division in parallel circuits. Current division in very important technique. Okay, I'm putting important here. This will be used again and again throughout this course. So say a I current is coming and this is the parallel resistance R1. Then I have a resistance R2. Then I have a resistance R3. And this is my resistance Rn. So this I current is coming here. The voltage drop across the source is say V. Okay. I1 current is coming here down. I2 is coming here. I3 is coming here and i n is going here okay how many nodes are there in the circuit tell me kitne node hai circuit ke andar the two two node hai. two nodes the, only two nodes all are parallel so now i can apply easily kcl apply kcl so my this is the incoming current and these all are outgoing current so incoming current is equal to I outgoing current I2 plus I3 and this will come your I N. Now voltage drop because these are all are parallel. So they have the same voltage drop. So I, I now I can replace this register by equivalent registers. So this is my I source 
and I can replace all resistances with a R equivalent. Okay, so my V will become again I equal to R equivalent. This V will become I into R equivalent. Okay, so I can put the value of I. I will be V upon R equivalent. Okay, I1 will be V upon R1, V upon R2, V upon R3. And this is your V upon Rn. Okay, so V, V will cancel out and I'll get a 1 upon R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3, 1 by Rn. Okay, but I want current division. I want value of I1, I2, I3. Okay, that is that this, 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 rule already we know okay but i want to find what is i1 what is the value of i1 tell me it's v by r1 very good i1 is v by r1 but v we don't know but i can write v equal to i into r equivalent r1 so there will be i will be given registers will be given i don't require v I can find out calculate B. Okay. So I can directly use this formula to find current in any branch. I1, I2 will be I into R equivalent V by R2. Similarly, I can write my IN equal to I R equivalent upon R3. Okay. It's RN. RN. This RN is Rn, okay. So I want to continue a little bit more in this topic, okay, because very important topic. So tomorrow we'll discuss this later. Okay, I'm stopping here because you need some break. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. Mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I'm leaving, okay?